Hi, I'm Michelle Walsh. Often what appears to be a complex idea is best explained using a simple analogy. In the case of IEX and V-bonds, think for a moment of airline frequent flyer points. The airline issues points. You can spend your points for value in selected items, either with the airline or possibly with a few associated businesses. IEX is a bit like an airline, but with one big difference. You don't have just a few selected places to spend. Rather, you can potentially spend on all listings. Instead of points, you acquire V-bonds. Instead of flying, you're bartering or trading your way into a better financial position. Here is your skill ambassador, Miranda Wallace, to explain the what, who, how and when of IEX. Hi, my name is Miranda Wallace and welcome to my video series on a unique philanthropic foundation established by the International Equity Exchange, or IEX for short. I'm going to tell you how it's going to possibly kickstart your career. IEX issues something new called a value bond, or V-bond as it's called. All V-bonds have an issuance face value. I'm an approved recipient of a V-bond. It's a loan to me and it's not secured by a property or the guarantee of a parent. Rather, it's secured against my future potential earnings. The loan is for 20 years. I pay no interest and no establishment fees. The good news for you is that every recent graduate is eligible for the same loan I have. Subject to approval by the Loan Committee, the IEX Foundation aims to reward young high achievers and future contributors to our society early in life by making loans available to worthy individuals. Worthy does not necessarily mean the smartest or the best. It can also mean the tenacious, the altruistic, the dedicated, and focused for those who are achieving an academic or commercial goal bravely against some insurmountable odds. But all must demonstrate entrepreneurial flair. And then nominate a charity you support. If you succeed, you'll be issued a V-bond which you transfer to your charity. After which, you'll then be issued with your own V-bond. Hi, Miranda Wallace here again. If you viewed the first video in this series, I suspect you now have a million questions. I know I did when I was first introduced to the IEX concept. What's of value to one may not necessarily be of value to another. In human society, value reallocations are largely performed through markets, some small like children trading lunch in the playground, and some large like the stock market. IEX provides another means for value to be exchanged. The reality is that without a robust economy, businesses can't flourish and philanthropy will suffer as a consequence. The sad irony in our human society is that the poor in a wealthy country are usually better off than the poor in a poor country, simply because wealth creates socially responsible policy and philanthropic gestures. So value and wealth retention are fundamental goals aspired to by most countries. The GFC exposed fragility and caused a contraction in the supply of money. Among other things, this can mean that a budding entrepreneur may struggle to launch a project that might go on to benefit society. IEX aims to empower another form of funding to help overcome that situation and to assist others who need another form of liquidity. IEX helps preserve wealth by encouraging commerce between individuals, corporations and governments without the need to spend cash. Imagine a business being able to buy some high value capital item or raw material it needs without spending cash, thereby effectively preserving its precious liquidity. This is what IEX aims to deliver. Miranda Wallace here. IEX operates an IT platform that introduces buyers to sellers of high value assets, goods and services, a sort of dating site, if you like, for entrepreneurs. A condition for each listed item is that it must have a current valuation from an endorsed firm. When no specialised valuer exists, then a certificate endorsing the value can be provided by a certified accountant. The IEX lawyers oversee all this. Corporate members wanting to sell larger value items are not a problem either. The IEX lawyers operate a securitisation program, which basically means they chop larger items into smaller tradable lots. So items or loan obligations with real value underwrite each V-bond's face value. Your promise to repay in 20 years underwrites the value of your V-bond. 
Small items can be bundled into parcels, including things, for example, like unsold empty airline seats. They represent unrecoverable revenue items lost forever in time. They can all be sold using IEX. Let's take that example further in terms of your charity. Say you pay for a seat on an aircraft, but the seat next to you is empty, but the business has failed to create demand to sell it to a customer. The airline wants to sell empty seats your charity. Elects to use your B-Bond gift to transport delegates to a conference during the same week you choose to travel. The empty seat next to you is now occupied, as are others, while a competitor has more empty ones. The competitive advantage may have drifted in favour of the IEX member airline. Hi, it's Miranda Wallace. IEX rewards entrepreneurial flair and attempts to foster relationships with commercially creative thinkers. So now you've got your own V-Bond, what's next? Remember being given a voucher or certificate to buy something in a shop? Your V-Bond is similar, but it's potentially redeemable on any listed item. Once you start to deal in value of this size, things get pretty serious. Legal issues such as ensuring the vendor has title to and the legal right to sell the item being offered, or if a bank or some other entity holds a security charge over the item. Is a seller a money launderer, or worse still, a criminal organisation? All has to be considered so you need a lawyer. You don't want to be involved in a dispute. You find an item or investment you would like to buy. Let's assume it's a more complex item, like say an apartment. You inform your lawyer. A contract and valuation is received. You've arranged a loan to cover the price above the value of the V-Bond. And for things like the lawyer's fee and a variety of other incidental costs, including fee for transferring. At settlement, the lawyer validates your V-Bond to the seller and the deal's done. You can rent it, live in it, sell it, whatever you like. But unquestionably, this is a huge leg up at the start of your career. In 20 years time, I'm certain you'll appreciate the part IEX played in making your fortune.